What's good, YouTube? Welcome back to the Brown Gen. In this video, I'm going to show you what I think that you should be doing if you want to farm the Say airdrops. Now, this is an entirely new ecosystem that's come about in the last year or so, and I'm going to walk you through the specific activities that you'll have to do to make sure you're on top of everything. Before we get into it, just remember, this is not financial advice. Also, I just wanted to say thank you so much for getting us to 5,000 subscribers. I really appreciate the support. If you haven't subscribed already, consider doing so. And the other thing I just want to bring up is I've launched my private group in the last 24 hours. It will cost $24.99. I'm actually phasing out my free public Discord. And I'm only going to have this because this allows me to give you that one-on-one -on -one or you know, if there's a few people who join the support that they need in Web3. I'm going to have a more in-depth video talking about what this private group is and what the benefits are in a future video. But, you know, wait for that and we'll get into it, okay? If you're interested, though, you can find the link to join uh, in the membership tab of YouTube. There's a little join button. Now, for Say, Say is a relatively new blockchain, right? The idea here is mass adoption of digital assets. Now, if you compare it versus what we sort of use as the benchmark in Bitcoin and Ethereum, you look at Bitcoin is like 10 transactions per second. Ethereum has doubled that at 20. Solana has 10,000. And we know how great Solana has been doing. Stay has double Solana at 20,000 operations per second. We also have faster transaction finality, um, front running prevention. So that means like if there's a limited supply on a bid, like let's say there's one NFT left, people are allowed to front front run you. And this is, you know, one of the many examples is also used uh, in sort of token price fluctuations as well. Now, it's a proof of stake concept. And we're going to talk a bit about their ecosystem today. But one of the things that always comes up whenever you're learning about a new ecosystem is you take a look at all their decentralized applications and you're like, what exactly should I be looking at? What should I do? But fear not, what I've done is I've put together a list of activities that you should be doing both on the main net and on the test net that will get you potentially to maximize whatever airdrops come out of this space. Now, the first thing I would say is this is not an EVM compatible chain. So make sure that you pick up the Compass wallet. You can find this. And one of the things I will say, everything that I show today, the link will be in the description below. So what I've done is I've installed the Compass wallet for say, and just to take a look at the price of say, it's currently sitting at 68 cents. It's down about 23% from the all time high, which is only three days ago. It's up 8,000% from its launch in August. So it should tell you, you know, there's been a massive run up, but this is only a 1.5 billion market cap token. And if we start to proxy sort of Solana success, won't happen this cycle likely, but in the future, there is potential for this coin to, you know, be double digits, let's just say. So that's that's the token in a nutshell. If you want to do more research on that, I implore you to go on YouTube and look up those resources. Now, if you're looking to pick up some say, you may be able to find some on centralized exchanges like crypto.com or Binance. What I always do is I like going to Osmosis Zone. And in Osmosis Zone, when you launch the app, which it'll do right here, I all I have to do is pick Osmosis as the sort of initial token, I will switch this to say right here. Let's just trade like 0.1 Osmo to say. You see here, um, that's a very fast and easy transaction. We will swap it. You don't see the approval in Kepler, but it's gone through. And now you can see that the transaction is broadcasting, waiting for that to be included. All right, great, transaction successful. So now I have 0.52 say, because I had a little bit before, I just did the swap. Now what you have to do is click on assets 
and you'll see your say token here. When you click withdraw, it will open up tfm.com. And this is like an IBC transfer bridge. You basically get to go from osmosis to say, and what I'll do is click receive say to another wallet, click this button and I pick the address. So this address is here from before. What I do is I'll open up my compass wallet. Uh, you can't see that right here, but if you have it installed and when you open it up, it'll give you the address. You just copy and paste that in here. Maybe I will see if I can screenshot it here. So I'll just show you what that looks like. So that's what it looks like right here. So I just press these, uh, these two boxes and then it'll copy it to clipboard. And then I go back over here, put it in and it will go. Okay. I hit the, I don't know, whatever. We'll put this here, hit transfer and it goes. So we'll confirm. And now I've approved the Kepler transaction and it is working its magic. Okay. So the first thing I would recommend that you do beyond this. So now that you have the say token, right? You have the compass wallet and the say token in the compass wallet, I would go and stake to validators. So app.sei.io and you know, obviously the link is in the description. You can pick validators to stake your say with. What I would recommend that you do is once again, don't go with any centralized exchanges and typically look for a validator outside the top 20, unless there's a specific project that's saying stake with us and you'll earn an airdrop. In the case of Injective, we saw that happen with Black Panther and Talos Protocol, which at the time weren't top 20, but Tal um, Black Panther became the number one validator because everyone wanted to stake with it to earn the airdrop. So you can go in here. Uh, I'll just connect my wallet. So we'll do that. Now that that's there, I will go in and, you know, let's go to staking cabin. We'll go to delegate. I got 6.7 say here. Let's just put two in there. One of the things I will say here is the gas is relatively cheap for say. It's usually 0 0.03, 0 0.02, which comes out to like one or two cents. So I've got that staked here and now we have some stake. Now my delegations currently, just so you can see full transparency, I believe a lot of people who are farming airdrops or sort of going through these processes haven't actually done them. I'll be honest with you. If you take a look at some of your YouTubers who will go in and this is not to throw shade on anyone, but a lot of them don't actually show what they've done or bought the tokens or done the actual steps because they just want views on YouTube. My goal is not for views on YouTube. I mean, that's nice, but what I'd really like is to build up the web three community. So you can see here, you know, it's not a ton of money, but I've staked 384 say token. I'm going to keep staking it over time. And you'll see here, I can hit the claim button at any point, And this will actually uh, claim some of those rewards for me, right? So we just hit claim here and uh, there you go. It reset it and it added, you know, to my wallet. It was like very small. I don't even know what USEI is. It's probably like a uh, one 10 to the minus six or something, right? So that's staking say token. I recommend that you do that to earn stable yield, but also for airdrops uh, for any say related projects. Okay. The next is Kawa Finance, right? So going back to this airdrop spreadsheet, one of the, the, the first thing we've done, right? Stake with validators. The second one, and this is so easy. This is free. Complete the Galaxy campaign phase one and two. These campaigns, phase one opened up. Let's just check it out. It opened up on December 12th, 23, ended January. It's going to end January 20th, 24. So you got two weeks uh, from this video to do it. In this case, um, this one opened up on January 3rd, also closes Jan 20th. There's no excuse not to do these campaigns. These campaigns literally are like, follow them on Twitter, retweet the tweet, quiz about Kawa. So like it, it like asks you like questions like, you know, do they use um, native assets? What chain do they launch on, etc. Part of the survey, they even ask you for a wallet address. I wonder why they said that they will provide they will provide rewards 
to OG holders when Kawa Finance goes live on the mainnet. Currently, it's a testnet protocol. So I would just recommend that you do that. If you haven't uh, sort of seen this campaign before, I will have my referral link in the description below. Um, you know, that helps me out a tiny bit. Uh, so if you wouldn't mind, please use it. I believe I currently have three, but hey, or maybe I don't. Maybe that's what it's looking for. Either way, if you could use that code, it would be very much appreciated. So that's a real free thing to do. And let me tell you something, Galaxy campaigns, we saw Manta Paradigm pay them out a ton. You see them, you know, a lot of protocols are using Galaxy, Interact and other such protocol or not protocols, but initiative campaigns to help users get familiar with their protocol and they're rewarding them. So you get like a special Discord role or a special NFT and those things get you uh, something when the, when the actual token airdrop happens, it's typically a boost. So I recommend that you get that. So the next thing, and now we're gonna start having to actually spend a tiny bit of money. This is still gonna be very small. We'll go into the SEI20 inscription marketplace. So inscriptions are very uh, popular because you know, with B uh, BTC, ordinals and everything else like that, everyone sort of wants to mint out these inscriptions. In this case, I just say get a little bit exposure. So you can open up the first one here. Uh, you know, there's 40,000 holders. It's only 6.8%, but whatever, you click on this. Um, and when you do, you just click mint. And it'll make you sign something in your wallet. And when you mint it here, um, it'll give you another like uh, inscription for that. And you can find your mints by going to my assets at the top. And you see it's like right here. Okay. So that's very simple transaction thing. The next thing is kryptonite. So kryptonite is a sort of um, another sort of liquid staking protocol. So when you go here, the homepage just shows me currently what I have uh, on the platform. I click on K asset on the top right here. And right now I have no rewards or withdrawable C to withdraw but I'm in this stay staked stay pool. So I click on that. And if I wanted to, I can bond or in this case stake more stay token up to my wallet balance of 4.74. If I did that, let's say I put, let's say I did one say here. It would delegate the say to the validator on the chain. I'll receive staked say, I'll do mint. Just to show you guys the process, we'll just pay the gas. That was 0 0.08 C token. And then in burn, I currently have 105.91. So if I ever wanted to, I could go in here and type in, I don't know, 105.91, and I would get this much say token back. Once I do this process, it will take 21 days. So you can't get it instantaneously, which is why I have a much smaller amount here. Um, but just so you know, so this is sort of what I would do over here. And that's sort of getting you that interaction that you need. The next is actually their NFT marketplace. And let me tell you, Palette Exchange, when I first got into Say about a week ago, I saw that it was taking half an hour to an hour to enter. So I have already have this open for you guys. Sometimes you may have to wait some time to load. By going here, any NFT marketplace, you want to buy an NFT. Ideally, you like to flip some NFTs. Sometimes, if you can afford it, it's valuable to pick up the blue chips. Now, the reason I haven't done so is I've actually noticed the value of these blue chips coming down. Saiyans or Saiyans from Dragon Ball Z. Um, these were worth maybe 1.5 to 2x the value about a week ago, and they have been dropping in price. When I click on activity, I believe it only shows volume. Yeah. So you see here, the volume was 516,000 on January 2nd. And, you know, yesterday it was 85,000. So it is really dropping off. So I would not at this point be buying any of these sort of high NFTs. You could buy a small one if you want to, um, you know, look at the top collections and you can figure out which one you want. And if you're able to just buy, sell, buy, sell, 
fantastic. I leave that to those of you who are uh, better flippers. But I think at a minimum, if you want to pick up an NFT. I picked up like Sadux, which is like Sadux, I believe is, you know, five or six say token. So go to profile here. I can see it here. So view in detail. What is it? Like, say ducks over here. Just check it out. Yeah, they're like 10 say token, you know, so six bucks. So that's sort of what I picked up. Uh, that gives me my exposure. You don't have to do that if you don't want to. Savio is actually this really cool app. And that's sort of the next one where you sort of, uh, you get into a raffle system, but you can't lose. I'm not really sure how they make their money. And you can see here that they have, um, you know, this is going to be their seventh round that's coming up. I've already entered some, but basically it's a no loss DeFi prize game. Win or not, you never lose your investment. Everyone's a winner when you play with Savio. So you can enter to win by clicking here. Put like one or two say in if you want to. And let's just check here. Uh, let's refresh because it looks like this timer stopped. We'll just see what's going on here. Oh, I have to connect my wallet again. All right. While that's loading, we'll, we'll come back to it. Just, you know, I don't want to leave uh, a lot of space here. I don't really feel like editing the video. Oh, here we go. So... Enter to win 23 minutes, 40, 23 hours, 44 minutes, 16 seconds. Okay. So that's still going on. I'll just connect my wallet to sort of see if there's anything updated for me here. No, but you can also like eventually go in and uh, add liquidity. It's not available yet. I've deposited 6.156 say token in here for a chance of winning 97 say. If I don't win, I still get my 6.156 say back. I really don't understand how that works. But hey, I'll take it, okay? So, so that's the Savio. The next is Dagora, which is another NFT marketplace. So we go here, we click Explore Now. And once again, you can see a ton of different member, uh, different NFTs. One of the things you can do is if you're seeing there's more activity on this um, marketplace than Pallet, which I think Pallet is probably more active, you can literally go and arbitrage trade between collections between the marketplaces. So if you can pick up a Seon for much cheaper on one and sell it for a little bit more on the other, that gets you your volume on both ends. And that's not a bad way to sort of get your exposure without really losing any money or putting any sort of investment into it. So that's sort of what I would look at here. It's very like basic. The next is something that I think you should do I, or you know something that I did anyways. It's the say name service. So you go here, say, say space ID. You type in whatever you want. So let's just say you're looking for airdrops.sei. Well, it's registered. All right. Airdrops for everyone. All right. This is not registered. So then you click on this button. You just pay 7.41 say token, which is like five bucks. And when you do that, it only asks you to set as primary name if you don't have one already or if you already have one so i'm not going to register this but just so you see it i already have the brown jet so i have no i have no need to get another one of these but it's something i would consider we saw this happen with ens and a few other sites where getting the getting the domain or the name service really did get people a massive airdrop. So let's just say for $5, if you have a domain name that you want, maybe one that you can resell. So if there's a project that you think people might want to take that name in the future, buy it now and list it for, sell, for sale later. Okay, so that's the same name service. The final one is Dragon Swap. Now Dragon Swap is not available yet, but I bring this up because it's going to be the native decks on say. So it's a sort of automated market maker. So there's going to be liquidity pools and everything here. When this is up, you want to have trading volume and you want to be farming in here. This one will have an airdrop. So I would definitely just keep this top of mind, right? And make sure that you have, um, you know, you have this bookmarked. So that's, that's probably all of it from the main net. Now let's get into the test net. Before we get into the test net though, you should always go to the faucet. Now, one of the things I've said on previous videos is 
for testnet activity, your faucet is your weak link. So I make it a daily activity to go in and claim from every single faucet that I have a link to. And I do it at the same time pretty much every day so that the 24 hour limit is taken care of. So in this case, what I will do is I will connect my wallet, hit compass, hit autofill, hit next. It won't let me do it yet, just so you know, but I want you guys to see it because um, I think I have to wait another four hours. So I'll request say, you are not eligible to use the faucet until January 7th, 2.24 a.m. That tells you that I was up at 2.24 a.m. last night doing this. So, you know, just something to keep in mind. Now, if you have done that and you've already gotten sort of this testnet say token, Yaka Finance is one of them that you should go to. And Yaka Finance is just, they, they've already said they're going to have an airdrop. Literally, it says airdrop here. And the best way to get the airdrop is to make sure that you would get all these milestones. So all these check marks, launch pad and vote and lock are not available yet. You can see that up here. So don't worry about that. So these badges, you know, you will not be able to get right now, but then also focus on trying to get a high ranking on total points, right? So right now the total leaderboard, the highest person is 4964. And the way you get that is by swapping and providing liquidity. So Yaka, and say token i got 2.5 say token and on the test net the gas is expensive so if i change one say token to yaka it's literally going to cost me 0.3 say in gas but whatever i'm just going to do it to show you guys so and i'm going to paste this in here so you see it too so you see here it's 0.3 so it's just something to keep in mind and that's why i say like you know one of the things that is going to be your rate limiting step is the amount of um, amount of faucet or testnet tokens that you have. So just keep doing it whenever you can, just so you can grind this leaderboard, right? So if every day you do it, you'll get, I think the faucet gives you five say token and you go through them really fast. So just keep doing it. If you, if you miss a day, it'll set you back on collecting on these, especially if you want a bigger airdrop with a testnet activity, right? So go back to the airdrop, the, what you have to do is you'll have to swap in four specific pools, provide liquidity in four specific pools, and then these other three things that you can't do yet. You go to liquidity and you can see. So I'll show you my positions. I have a position in all four pools. And that means that I have done the say to Yaka swap, the USDC to USD swap, say to USDT, USDT to Yaka, etc. Or you can go to liquidity and go to pools. And you can see in here and you can just go in and add to it once you have that. So my thing is get some say tokens, swap a tiny bit, put the say and Yaka together, do the same thing for the others. The last one here is Kawa Finance. And it's the way we started. Kawa Finance is the protocol that we were doing the Galaxy event for, if you remember. So this is um this sort of campaign right this campaign and, ca and phase two of the campaign that you also see so one of the things that you should do here is you'll be connected to your i'm trying to disconnect you can go back it, it always connects me to the wrong wallet it connects me to kepler for some reason so you always want to make sure you connect to compass and then you go to borrow you click on deposits right here you deposit and you try to deposit as much of your testnet tokens as possible. So we'll put like another 0.38 here, right? So you want the activity, but you also just want to put as many tokens as you can in here. Once again, to just contribute, right? So this is why getting the faucet is so huge. Once you've done that, then you go back and on borrowings, you click on this side, click here, borrow, and then borrow and don't go above 50%. You don't want to get liquidated here. So we'll go like right here, borrow. And there we go. I'm just going to approve the transaction. Great. And if you look at the overview, it just, it literally um, just launched like in January. So there is only like 10,640 say tokens supplied, 2,500 borrowed but this is going to be a huge protocol like i said it's they basically said they're going to have an airdrop without saying it so you definitely want to make sure you're doing your activities 
And you can also make sure that, hey, you're higher up on the leaderboard if possible. So you can see here, like this is the number of points people have. I don't know where, I'm probably nowhere near where I need to be. Yeah, supply points, it doesn't, I have no idea what my supply points are. Close this though. Anyways, I hope that was a good overview for you all on Say Token, the activities that you'll have to do to make sure you maximize the airdrop potential. If you saw any parts of this video and you're like, eh, I'm confused what to do here, I need help, and maybe it's not just Say, maybe it's everything else, really consider this. $24.99 is nothing. Like, it's not gonna change my life at all, but the reason I wanna do this is number one, make sure people have skin in the game, and number two, at the end of the day, I hate when I had these free public discords, these impersonators would come in, bots trying to scam people. They're not going to pay $25 to get into this, no matter how good the value is. So if you want that and like literally like if we if we keep the community small, that's fine with me. It doesn't matter if I have one person or a hundred. I want to make sure that I can support every single person. There's going to be other benefits. And like I said, I'm going to make a video announcing what all of that looks like. If you need that help, consider this because I will not be able to answer DMs on Twitter and emails all the time anymore. My, my full-time job is just keeping me out of that. So I wanna make sure that I prioritize the people who are part of this group. Anyways, that's all I gotta say for this video. I wanna thank you guys again for getting us to 5,000 subscribers. I'm really excited about the bull run. We've got so many opportunities. This is the time to be out there consuming content learning a lot about this space. You can take your breaks. You can go on vacation. You can do all that stuff. When we get the bear market in a year and a half, maybe two years, now's the time to grind. So make sure you're out there watching these videos. Make sure you're out there doing these activities and like the video if you haven't already and share the video with someone else that you want to help in crypto. And if you haven't already, subscribe to the channel. And until next time, I'll see you in the next video. Thanks for watching.